Welcome back, all you tolerant people out there. Shouldn't that be everyone, you ask? Well, here's what I mean. We need to dig a little bit deeper into this topic, I think, this week. You know, we all agree this doesn't look much like tolerance, right? I hope we can also agree, though, that tolerance doesn't mean passively accepting insults or overlooking behaviors that violate the rights of others. So guys, if you could help the victim of a purse snatching that happened right in front of you, and if you knew the mugger was gay, how would that affect it? I think a crime is a crime regardless of the gender, sexual preference, or ethnicity of the perpetrator, right? Oh, come on, Steve. Now that's not tolerance. That's either flabby supposed tolerance or maybe it's just plain cowardice on behalf of that person. But what should socially correct society at large demand the Christian to tolerate? Should we, for example, be expected to obey laws that directly violate the clear teachings of the Bible, which Christians everywhere revere as God's word? The answer is no in my book. Look at this headline that appeared on CNN in June 2012. A Christian couple in China in years past would violate the law if they didn't abort the mother's pregnancy when the child would be the third one born to the couple. Because the law mandated that only two children per couple was legal. Hey, fair question. We'll deal with this topic more in an upcoming video. But the short answer here is yes, Christians should accept these various sexual lifestyle preferences as the person's own choice to make. We should welcome them as visitors to our churches, be friendly neighbors, and help those in need as we would help anyone in need, I would hope. But there's more to this hot topic that needs to be said. So I hope you'll click into next week's Flash News to find out more. All the best.